In this video presentation, we're going to cover the SOT23 calculator. Surface mount, go down to alphabetical order, down to SOT23, double click on it. I'm going to fill in some dimensions here so that we save some time here. Now in the SOT23 calculator, there can be a 3-pin version, a 4-pin version, 5-pin, 6-pin, all the way up to 14 pin versions for these parts. The pin pitch is the first thing that you want to enter. Now, there's a 0.95 millimeter pitch, which is a standard SOT23, and then there's a 0.65 millimeter pitch SOT23, and then there's a 0.5 millimeter pitch SOT23. But I believe that the IEC calls them SC70 and and something else, uh, SOT. Uh, 323. Um, now, if I did select six pins, for instance, okay, so I say six pins calculate, it adds all six pins um, to the package. Um, you can select the footprint panel down here and select use manufacturer's pattern, and you can um, add the G, X, and Y dimensions for the manufacturer's pattern. Now, one of the things that I need to mention is is that if the manufacturer gives you a dimension like a G dimension for instance that pushes the pads off the terminals you see the terminal over here is floating in space okay these little rectangles these white rectangles on the pads those are the terminals and if you ever type in the manufacturer's dimensions and the pads fall off the terminal lead okay I would back out of that and call the manufacturer and say hey you got a typo in your data sheet because there's never supposed to be a situation where the metallization of the terminal lead falls off the pad. One of the other features in SOT23, let's go back to the three pin version. So we have a scenario where we want to reorder the pins. Okay, So I could say that, well, uh, pin one is really over on this side, and maybe ROM semiconductor makes one of these. So I select that pin, and I'm going to select reorder the pins, and then I'm going to select this is pin two, and then this is pin three, and then right mouse button, and then done reordering. Now I got pin one, two, and three. I can also um, name the pins whatever I want. So if I have an emitter, base, and collector for a transistor, I could say that this is the emitter over here, and then this is the collector over here. I'm just double clicking on the pad and typing in the, and this is the base over here, and say, okay, so now I got a EBC. So you could number the pins or any, any letters that you want to use. So you could reorder pins, renumber the pins, move the origin markers to wherever you want the origin to be. If there are no, uh, polarity on this, okay? You could turn that off also. This concludes the video presentation on the SOT23 calculator. Simplify, standardize, and automate an entire IPC and IEC compliant library. Detailed, accurate, reliable, professional. Highest quality footprints and 3D step models. Clicks away. Many companies worldwide are easily generating their CAD libraries. You should too. Get a fully functional footprint expert evaluation license for any CAD format and demo today. Contact us at pcblibraries.com or call 847-557-2300.